Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this series of videos, I'm going to introduce you guys to Bootstrap, which is a framework for developing uh, responsive websites that you can view on your mobile, which is really cool. So the first thing we're going to do is obviously create an HTML page, which I've already done, and I'm going to set it up with the basic HTML structure. Hopefully, you guys already know a bit of HTML, so I won't explain this part of the video. So right now, I have set up the page with the most basic HTML tags, which you guys should already know without me talking too much about it. But the first thing I'm going to add in between head and slash head, which is the content that you won't see on the page, is this line of code here. Now what this line of code does is basically specifies the viewport of the um, when you view this page from let's say a mobile okay the viewport is basically how big the window is of your mobile and so you can either set the width to a specific number of pixels so for example you can say width equals uh, 300 or something like that but we're just going to set it to the default uh, width of the mobile device however many pixels your mobile is capable of viewing and we're not going to zoom in or zoom out so that's what this initial zoom level equals one means so basically we'll just view the web page as normal without zooming in or out and um, that is possible with bootstrap because we will change the layout of the page to fit the mobile now the next thing I'm gonna do is add another three lines of code right you might have noticed that I'm copy and pasting these lines because um, no one is gonna type these out they're just the same on every page so the first line is based well actually I'll just explain all three lines at once basically Bootstrap will not work without these three lines. They're just telling your browser that we need these three files because they're part of the Bootstrap framework, which contains all the CSS styles, the um, JavaScript and jQuery uh, scripts involved for the web page to use Bootstrap. Right? Without these three lines, most of our code, um, the browser will not understand what we're doing so the next thing we're going to do is set up the div tag of our page so div and slash div right this is basically a section in an HTML page and basically um, inside this section we are going to have things that will respond to the settings that we set what this section is going to behave like and we're going to make the class of this section equal to container fluid and what this means is that whatever we put inside this section here it's going to fill up the entire width of our viewport so for example if our viewport is 700 pixels then this container will have a width of 700 pixels if we change the uh, window size to 300 pixels the width of the container will be 300 pixels hence hence the word fluid so the next thing we're going to do is put something in our container so within this container I'm just gonna put up some text so let's put in here um, a few headings h3 All right heading 3 so that's the size of the heading h1 would obviously be a bit bigger so h3 uh, about me alright and then type a few lines my name is whatever just let me do this and I'm also going to insert a picture which you guys should know how to do already so I've got um, two or well, I got a heading a paragraph and a picture that I'm inserting 
and so let's have a look at what this page looks like so if you're in Dreamweaver just press F12 to get the preview so um, you must be thinking well that's a bit boring so let's style it up a little bit so let's define a custom style sheet so if we put in between head and slash head let's put style and slash style again I'm assuming that you guys know a bit of CSS but basically I'm going to define a class called BG1 and within this class all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the background color let's say I'm gonna make it um, something different so you can pick a color here actually if you're in Dreamweaver so let's just pick it slightly darker sort of color okay and then you can also specify the color of the text so let's just make the color of the text um, white just, actually you can just type white and then finish off the definition of BG1 so to make the background color um, whatever we just picked sort of green you just got to type inside the class space BG1 and we're also going to center the text so put in text center like that so now if we run this code and have a look at the website it looks like this obviously you can change a color to make the um, make the background a bit better so let's now extend our one page layout a little bit so let's copy and paste this code three times and instead of just the same background the whole time let's have BG1 BG2 BG3 right so for BG2 and 3 pick a different background color okay pick a different color so I'm just gonna type it in uh, actually let's just pick it oops color oh what's going on okay I give up just type in the name so I got these colors here and here we can then choose BG2 and BG3 right and rather than about me you can change the text so you can change it to my hobbies just put in here I play basketball tennis and do magic tricks choose a different picture so now if we preview this page and have a look we can see that it now looks a bit like this about me my hobbies so yeah still looks really ugly but we will gradually improve this okay so that's the end of lesson one thanks for watching guys see you next time